Hi there, this is Jen and thanks for joining me today. Today I have a fun mixed media card using the Capture Every Moment stamp from Visible Image. This is a brand new stamp set um, and there are several stamp sets in their newest release that are available for pre-order now. Um, and the next stamp I'm using is called Imper Imperfection is Beauty and then the stencil is called Off the Grid. And I'm going to do a little bit of collage with, with this, um, hopefully I can get through the video today, um, with this paper from Tim Holtz. And it's that really pretty um, kind of tissue paper with the butterfly and writing on it. And I am using some watercolor paper. And the product that I have in the little squeeze bottle is the uh, mixed media mat. Um, and so I like to put it on the bottom and then or underneath the paper and then also uh, over the top so you'll see that I add a little bit underneath and then stick the paper on and then I'll add a little bit more over the top and then run my um, silicone brush over the top um, and I'm using a silicone brush but really you can use your fingers or you can use a paint brush um, the silicone brush I like using because it's really easy to clean because it's a non-porous surface. Um, usually you would use that if you didn't want any like brush lines from or brush strokes from a paintbrush, but you can't see on this project at all. Plus I'm using a glue that's going to dry clear, so it doesn't really matter. So use whatever you have. And you could use Mod Podge for this as well. I like the mixed medium mat because it's easy to work with. It comes out of the squeeze bottle really nicely and it's just the the item that I prefer to use um, and then next I'm going to take some gesso and I'm using some white gesso um, but again if you have an alternative product if you want to use acrylic paint whether that's white or a different color you can use a paste um, so basically all I'm doing is I am taking that gesso and putting it through the stencil um, so I'm going to use kind of the numbers from the stencil and then the small little portion of the grid and I am using my silicone brush for that as well and then because I don't like to wait for things to dry, I will go ahead and use my heat tool to heat this up. Um, but before that, I'm adding a little bit more gesso around different parts of the card uh, just to add a little bit of fade with that white and a little bit of texture. And then I'm going to go ahead and heat that gesso up. And I like the way it, it looks because it adds a little bit more texture by um, having the gesso heat up and bubble up. And then I'm going to start adding my sprays. So I'm using the Distress Spray Stains. Uh, the first color that I am going to use is the, I believe this is called Speckled Egg. And I just wanted it really light uh, dripping down the... Um, card panel and so I just ran my spray across the top of the panel and then used a little bit of water to help that move and then I'm going to blot up um, some of the wet spots and then I'm going to turn the panel around and do that on the opposite side and this time I'm using the antique linen uh, the antique linen came out you know what's so weird is the spray bottles um, I don't know some of them have different colored or different caps so some of them are rounded caps some of them are square caps and it's almost like the sprayer on those two colors are different from each other because the speckled egg sprayed way differently than the antique linen um, I just it's just one of those little differences for I don't know why they're different but they definitely are um, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit more of both of the colors on the panel so I'm taking the speckled egg and spraying that more concentrated where I had already put most of that color and then I'm just taking a paintbrush and kind of moving that around a little bit and then I will take the antique linen again and add that on that opposite side I really love these two colors together um, I just think it's really really beautiful and then I'm going to take my heat tool and dry this up just a little bit um, and then I will set this aside and then I'm going to start on my background for my camera. So I am using some 
salvage patina and another piece of watercolor paper. I'm just going to spray that on there and then I'll dry it and then I'll spray it again um, and keep doing that until I have the background that I want. I actually made two of these panels. I made one that was stamped in Versifying Black and one that was stamped in Versifying Sepia. I believe this is the one that I stamped in the Sepia um, and I'm going to stamp that up that image up and then add some clear embossing powder and then I will take my heat tool and melt that embossing powder. But I wasn't sure which one I would like better and so I think I did end up going uh, um, with the, the, the sepia um, color rather than the black. And then I'll set that aside and I'm using some corrugated um, paper six by six paper. I'm going to tear that and this is basically going to be the kind of the backdrop for my camera image. And so I'll go ahead and tear that with my hands and then I'm going to take a finger dauber and the color um, walnut stain in distress oxide and add a little bit of detail around or um, distress around the edges of that piece of paper. And then I'm also going to take my finger dauber and the same walnut stain and go around the edge of the um, card panel. And this is just gonna frame this out and basically pull it all together. And this piece of paper is actually cut five and a half by five and a half. I'm gonna mat this on a dark brown piece of cardstock that is about five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And so to adhere this, I did use both uh, my tape runner and some liquid glue because it is a watercolor panel and it was a little bit warped. And so I wanted to make sure that that paper stayed very secure. And then here I am, I've fussy cut out my camera piece and I have this film strip piece from 49 and Market and I thought it worked perfectly with this. So I went ahead and I adhered that corrugated cardboard piece and then I will try and kind of figure out my layout. The flowers are from that Imperfection is Beauty stamp set and I stamped those on to Dispress Spray Stain watercolor paper as well using the colors Abandoned Coral and the Antique Linen again. So I'm just gonna kind of move um, the different elements around and see which ones I like and uh, figure out my layout from there. I've also gone ahead and I stamped up the sentiment from the stamp set, which is uh, capture every moment. And I have stamped those in some versifying sepia onto some cardstock that I've used that um, distressed oxide and walnut stain. And then I will um, I started hearing my pieces, so I'm just going to take some liquid adhesive and glue down my pieces. And then I added that camera strip kind of at a diagonal, and I've added a little bit of foam to the back of that camera image. I'm just going to stick that on the strip, and the only place I'm going to add the glue is going to be to the back of that, um, just because that camera strip, strip is going to stay secured um, onto that foam. And then I will go ahead and place that so that that strip is a little bit um, on the diagonal. And then I'm going to frame out the um, sentiment words using that same cardstock that I used for the mat for this card. And I'll grab some scissors and go ahead and cut those out and add those to the card. And um, that's gonna be pretty much it. Um, I'll go ahead and take some liquid adhesive and add these pieces to the card. Um, I also took some brown pearls and added those kind of towards the bottom. Um, a little bit of splatter, but um, I hope you like this card. Um, this was super fun to create and um, check out the Visible Image new release. It is, again, available for pre-order now. There's lots of absolutely amazing stamps and the price point's gonna be a little bit lower because some of, most of these are um, smaller stamps, about three by four in size. And so you can get a bunch of little um, single stamps to create a bunch of wonderful projects. And um, if you've seen Instagram or the Visible Image Facebook page, you'll see um, all the amazing inspiration from the design team. So I hope you check that out. 
Um, I've also got a few different projects from this new release over on my Instagram that I did not create videos for. So if you're interested in seeing those, my Instagram is at Jen Lee Schoolcraft. Um, as always, um, I really appreciate you stopping by today. If you like this video or found it informative, I would love a thumbs up. Um, thanks so much for joining me and I hope to see you next time.